Hey, what do you think the most underutilized soft plastic bait is today? I'm gonna bet it's the lizard. So why do you think this bait is so underused? Well, with the advent of all the new creature baits, and all the new body styles and soft plastics, I personally think that people feel the lizard just isn't sexy anymore, which is absolutely ludicrous because the plastic lizard flat out catches bass. First of all, let me clear something up. The lizard isn't actually a lizard at all. It's a salamander. And to be more specific, it's the larva stage of the tiger salamander. And some of these things can get to be 10 inches long. In fact, sometimes when I'm ice fishing, I catch them ice fishing, which is absolutely crazy because it's like you got this little prehistoric dinosaur coming through the hole in the ice. Anyhow, these, this food source is a giant slimy protein bomb for bass. Bass love them, they're used to eating them, they feed on them ferociously. The lizard is one bait that is always in my boat, especially in spring and especially in the summertime. Now I wanna talk about my three favorite ways to fish the lizard. Now remember, there's more than three ways to fish this versatile bait. I'm just gonna to talk to you about my three favorites. First, Carolina rig. The reason I love Carolina rigging the lizard is it's a very natural presentation. Not only that, is I can cover structure very rapidly and efficiently. My next favorite technique is actually flipping the lizard. I love flipping a lizard, but here's what I do. I want a nice, slow fall. I want the lizard to literally glide over the branches and kind of float to the bottom. It's very natural, bass can't resist this. Most of my bites flipping a lizard come on the fall as the bait's dropping through the branches. Now, here's the thing. I use the absolute lightest slip sinker I can, still being able to penetrate the cover. So I'll start out with a quarter ounce slip sinker and go to 17 pound fluoro. Now, if the fall is still too fast, I'll just bump up to 20 pound fluorocarbon and that'll slow the fall down without me having to lessen the weight on the bait. So I get the same fall with a sinker that's heavy enough to get through the branches. Now my last favorite technique is a weightless lizard. Now here's the trick. I have the weightless lizard, rig Texas style, no weight on the line, okay? When I, and I fish this primarily in the pre-spawn to the beginning stages of the post-spawn. That's when this weightless lizard is absolutely dynamite. Here's the only thing you gotta know. There's gonna be an invisible zone. And what I mean by that is you're gonna look at the bottom of the lake and you'll be able to see the bottom, see the bottom, and then all of a sudden you, you, lose, you lose with the visibility of the bottom. That is called the invisible zone. That's where the weightless lizard excels. So I cast it up to where I can see the bottom and I let it sink into that invisible zone. And it'll sink real slow, it's real subtle. This is a super, super subtle presentation. It'll sink real slow and it'll go to where you can't see it anymore. Pay attention, because 99% of the time, all of a sudden your line's gonna start moving off. And then set the hook and you got them. The weightless lizard is a crazy technique and it's a lot of fun during the pre-spawn, beginning stages of the post-spawn. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this technique and I guarantee you there's a lot of guys that don't do it. Yum came out with six new custom colors, very natural and enough color spectrum that you can fish these in any water conditions. Get on lurenet.com and check them out today.